Quick story time before we start this video, but the other day I was actually out getting a haircut. It was already two days ago. You guys can see it's still fresh, right? And while I was out there, there was a store right by my barbershop, like a couple minutes away, and it's called Game 3. Now, Game 3 is a TCG store that does Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece, Pokemon, all of that good stuff. I really just walked in there to see what they got, maybe support the store a little bit. I know they're just up and coming still. And so while I was in there, they actually hit me with a congratulations on your upcoming wedding, which you guys would only know about if you watch the channel. So of course, I was like, like, wait that's super cool that you guys are watchers and viewers of the spanko channel and then they proceeded to give me a wedding gift this wedding gift was a rarity collection 2 booster box absolutely insane i'm gonna get to open this for you guys but i wanted to give a big shout out to game 3 because none of this would be happening without them i didn't even ask for this i didn't pay for this nothing they literally just handed it to me and said congratulations on your wedding man Hope you have some good pulls and then gave this to me. It was it was uh, pretty cool and uh, I'm really excited to open it up in today's video. So that's what we're going to be doing. Shout out Game 3. Check them out. I'll leave a link at the top of the description for you guys to check them out. I don't have any affiliate codes or anything for you guys. I just want to shout them out because they did a really nice thing for us here on the channel. So let's open this up and let's see what we can pull. So here it is, a box of Rarity Collection 2. Very excited to be opening it up. And again, big shout out to Game 3, something they did not have to do, but I very, very much appreciate it. Very soon, you guys are going to be seeing a brand new studio, by the way, because I am moving. I, uh, I have uh, a lot going on right now in my life. Uh, I got the wedding that I'm planning, like I mentioned earlier. I have moving in my life like that that I'm working on right now. We just found a new place. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, what way better to, to announce it and talk to you guys about it than open up some Rarity Collection 2. Let's, uh, let's make it two halves here, like a booster box right over here of Rarity Collection 2. There's a lot of really cool QCRs that I wouldn't mind pulling. We have Appalosa in here that's really good. We have cards like Crossout that are really good. I need one more Rate Soul for my play set. So pulling a Rate Soul would be really nice. And uh, yeah, there's so much. And I believe it's five QCRs. CRs per box but yeah like I was saying there is a lot of different things happening right now in my life and and uh ooh, ultimate slayer I thought that was something good actually okay let's, let's go through this back in the box oh are we starting off with a QCR TG hyper librarian okay I actually pulled one of these during my case opening but this card is still really really good and honestly the more QCRs we pull the better XT's encore and blue eyes spirit okay I'm gonna try to separate the secrets the ultras and the supers because uh, I'm gonna need to separate them later anyways just just how I am honestly it's just how I like to organize my things but anyways so yeah, I have a lot going on in my life. I have uh, so much that I'm planning. And again, like you guys are seeing the studio now. Don't like, don't get used to it because soon this is going to be a brand new studio that I'm going to set up and it's going to look absolutely stunning. We have an ultimate rare over here, Phantasmi, which is really nice. We have a CR Unchained Soul of Rage, which is really cool. So we got, I mean, we went from ulti to CR. We have a rate so This would be really good soon in a QCR if that's what we're able to pull. Dark Dragoon, Twisters, and a Bingo Machine Go. Machine Go is actually going to be a really good card for Blue Eyes coming up soon. But yeah, like I was saying... Uh, the, the studio, it's, uh, currently it's just my bedroom, right? This is the bedroom that I live in, but, uh, I'm going to be setting up an actual full studio, uh, soon. So that's, that's something I'm really excited to do. And that's something that I think is, oh, drone lock was really nice. That's something that I think is going to take the content to the next level. It's going to push the content up. Ooh, a platinum secret rare for the psychic and punisher over here. Very nice card. I think it's going to take the content up to the next level though. I'm going to actually just separate these rarities over here and then have QCRs up here for you guys to see, just so you guys can see a little bit of everything over here. But yeah, let's continue here. I want to up the quality of the videos. And I think once I have a studio, once I have a space dedicated solely for making videos, the quality of the videos are going to go up and there's going to be a lot more coming to you guys soon. Anti-spell fragrance. There's some really good staples in this set, man. Ultimate rare, a rescue rabbit over here. A collector's rare phantasm. So we pulled an ultimate and then into a collector's rare. We have a blue eyes jet dragon secret rare. Forbidden Lance Secret Rare, and then a Forbidden Lance Super Rare. Yeah, this set is actually a lot better than I think people make it out to be. I know there was a lot of controversy around this set when it first came out. I think specifically it was based around the price point of the set because the set actually like has some really, really powerful cards. Mind Control being one of them. Garura, Dragoon is another one. This is an Ultimate Rare, which is really nice. Another Collector's Rare Phantasmi. What is that? Back-to-back -back Collector's Rare Phantasmi. It's kind of crazy, actually. We might pull a playset. Uh, that, that's actually really nice. IP Masquerina, very good secret rare card here as well. We got Luber as a secret rare, Psychic and Punisher. So, so far, the only QCR we have is TG. Let's see if we can get that Rate Soth. Let's see if we can get that Appaloosa. Appaloosa and Rate Soth are the two that I want. IP, of course, would be really good. Crossout would be really good. Access Code would be really good. There's a lot of really good ones here. Okay, Dragoon, Pax. I feel like I've opened up so much of this set. That it's been a while, actually. Ooh, my friend purely QCR. Okay, definitely not one that I personally want. It's not a bad card. Just not, not, not something that I personally am looking for. But you know what? Can never complain about a QCR. Never complain about a QCR. Still a high ready card. And you never know what these QCRs, they're going to be out of... Uh 
I think they're going to be out of print soon. I know the Bonanzas come... Well, I have the Tins and the Bananas is coming up. And I think after Bonanzas, they're... I don't think there's going to be any more. We have an Ultimate Rare Jet over here. Uh, Collector's Rare Book of Moon. We've been hitting a lot of back-to-backs here. We have Silent Magician. Actually, that's a little bit damaged. I don't know if you guys can see that, actually. Maybe a printing error. But yeah, we have Bonanza coming up. And I think after Bonanza, like after 2024, I don't think there's any more QTRs. So even pulling QTRs that I don't specifically need right now, it's something that you can still hold on to. And long term, they might hold a lot of value, right? Because they might never be printed again. Like the entire rarity. It's not even the card itself, but the entire rarity might never be printed again, right? Masquerade over here. Enemy controller. Platinum rare. Ixie's Encore. Very, very nice card over here. Come, comes in and out of random formats, right? So it's actually good to have cards like that one in rotation in your uh, trade binders or in your just collection binders in general, right? Because... Uh, there might be a format where that card becomes really good again, right? Purely, actually, funny enough, is one of the formats where this was really, really good, right? So, uh, very nice card. Strike, Great Soth. Uh, we got a Pretty Memory, Book of Eclipse. We got a Nimble. Oh, yes! A QCR Raid Sword! Yes! This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I needed. Very, very happy I was able to pull this. Okay. We are doing good here. Three QCRs already, which is absolutely crazy in the first half of the box. But uh, yeah, Raid Sold is definitely something I needed myself. And uh, that's that's a really good one. Speaking of another one, that's really good. DD Crow would be really nice as a QCR as well. But Raid Sold is a very, very good pull. We're moving on to the second half of the box here. I am very happy that completes my playset. That's something that I personally wanted. I mean, big shout out to Game 3. I didn't, I didn't, you know, they, they gave me the box. They gifted me this box. It's something that I very much appreciate from them. But it's just, it's just really cool to, to the fact that I'm able to pull the cards that I'm looking for, like Raid Sold. Skill Drain, Secret Rare over here. MST, Secret Rare, and Rafflesia. Uh, another really good uh, QCR actually would be like Skill Drain or Solemn Strike or Solemn, uh, I think Judgment's in here, Warning's in here. There's so many good QCRs that we can pull, you know? Listen, we hit two that are like, I we hit Raid Soth, which I personally really wanted, which is good. But there's just so many good QCRs. As long as it's not Soul and Luna, I'll be in a happy mood. That was our first Appaloosa, by the way, I think. Even in the, in the Super Rare already. Like, we haven't hit any yet. Uh, Gold Sark Secret Rare. Underworld Goddess over here as a Platinum Secret Rare. Very, very pretty card. And then Foolish Burial Super Rare. Okay. We don't got that many packs for that, but... I'm, I'm really excited. That, that Raid Soth really, really upped my uh, enthusiasm here. As I say, we didn't pull an Appaloosa. We get a Super Rare right off the bat. Omega, Book of Moon. We haven't hit an Ulti or a Collector's Rare actually in a while now that I think about it. My friend Purely. Uh, Mind Control over here. We got Rafflesia and a Phantasmic. You know what? The Super Rares. Okay, if, if anyone doesn't know, if you guys haven't seen my other openings, if you guys didn't see my, uh, uh, whether it be you know, like the video opening or the, or the case opening on stream, I really like to collect either highest rarity or lowest rarity of cards. Everything in between is like whatever to me, I can move them. But something like this Drone Lockbird, Phantasmian, Super Rare is what I want. Because when I do my deck profiles for you guys, I like to show you guys... Ooh, Book of Moon. I like to um, make every rarity kind of like the same in, in, in the deck. So like, let's say I'm playing a play set of Ash in a deck um, and I'm in perms. I want them to be the same rarity, right? And so that's why I like to personally play either the highest or the lowest. And then everything in between, I'm not too much worried about, if I'm being honest with you. So uh, yeah, in this case, I like pulling the super staples, the super drolls, super phantasmas, super mourners, super Appaloosa. Those are the cards I like to pull super of because um, it's really easy to finish those play sets. And they're, it makes it very convenient for me when I do the deck profiles for you guys. Twin Twister Ultimate Rare is very nice. Cross of Designator, I'm pretty sure that's our first one that we've seen today, actually. Uh, I might be wrong, though, if I'm being honest with you. I might be wrong. Purely, okay. Oh, it's a QCR and it's a Synchro. What could it be? Could it be Crystal Wing? Uh, it could be Crystal Wing. Could be, uh, I don't know what it is, 24 and 5. Coral Dragon. Okay, there it is. Coral Dragon. This is our fourth uh, QCR. Still a very, very nice card. It's a good one of that comes up in and out of format. So I'm really excited about that one. So that's four QCRs here. Now for my boxes, personally, I was hitting five per box. So I assume there might be one more in here. We can hope that there's one more in here. Nothing, no, no huge hitters. I mean, Raid Soth, of course, is a nice one because I wanted that. But there hasn't been any huge hitters yet. Let's just see if we can end off on a huge hitter. If there is one more QCR, of course. Uh, something like a Crossout Designator. This is a Collector's Rare. But something like a Crossout Designator with QCR would be very nice. Something like an IP would be really nice. Access Code would be really nice. Um, those, those are the big hitters, right? Because, uh, yeah, big hitter would be very nice. Just, just to make up a little bit. I mean, again, can't complain when you're getting a box like this gifted to you right and uh again big shout out to game three appreciate them very much again like i said i think at the beginning of the video uh this is an ultimate rare uh oh and then a second ultimate rare uh we got uh yeah Ooh, i just pulled this in a qcr it's a platinum secret there we go calarium and then a super rare 
uh, Raikou. Yeah, like I said at the very beginning of the video, big shout out to Game 3. They didn't have to do this, but uh, it was very nice of them. I don't have uh, an affiliate code for you guys or anything to use, to be honest with you, but I'm going to put a link at the top of the description. They are moving actually to a brand new, bigger location. Crossout Disney Club Concert is very nice as well. They are moving to a bigger location, so if you guys want to support them, oh, I feel like I see something. I think I see something. They are moving to a bigger venue though, a bigger location, so they're gonna host more tournaments. And uh, just to support them, if you guys wanna go check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. Ultra, ultra rare over here, Abyss Dweller. Oh, I do. I definitely see something. I don't know if you guys see it on camera. Like you guys, okay, you guys can definitely see something there. So you know what I'm gonna do actually? Since this we know is gonna be a QCR, we're gonna put it down. So we'll go into our last pack over here. And we're gonna end off on a QCR, because why not, right? End off on a QCR. I'm assuming that's a QCR. It could actually just be a Platinum Secret Rare, who knows? But uh, let's find out. Assault and Judgment, Spirit Dragon, Phantasme Ulti. I feel like we pulled like four Phantasmes. That's crazy. Coral Dragon, Crystal Wing, and Fusion Deployment. Okay. Ooh, okay. I thought I messed that up there. Okay. Aloe Bear over here is just a super rare for us. Um, I think I think this is our last card. Let's see what we can pull. Our final card of the set. I think it's a QCR. It looks like a QCR. Let it be an IP. Let it be an Apollosa. Let it be an Axis Code. Let it be a... Uh, a solemn judgment let it be there's so many good even a blue eyes spirit dragon let it be something huh? oh i skipped it Ooh, what's right here oh psychic and punisher qcr to end it off i i saw the apple so i was like wait there's no way but then uh yeah unfortunately it wasn't the thing but psychic and punisher this was a synchro box guys look at this box this was all synchros everywhere like we pulled the synchro qcrs everywhere we hit the synchros over here uh oh we hit the same uh, synchro qcrs as we did platinum secret rares. that was an odd box actually because we pulled i mean two crossouts two book of moons two phantasmes like we doubled up on all the pretty much uh collector's rares here which is kind of crazy i've never seen that happen and then even with the ultimate rares we didn't really double up on anything except phantasme but uh yeah we um this is different. This is something that I've pers I mean, I opened a case. I opened a case in a box. So I opened 13 boxes. This is my 14th box. And it, I've never seen a box like this one, where it was two Book of Moon, two Crossout, two Phantasme. Very, very interesting. But you know what? At the end of the day, you can't complain. Five QCR rarities, quarter century rare cards to add to the collection. Specifically, Raid Soth is something that I've been wanting. And I'm very happy and very excited to be adding this to my collection playing this in my Kashira deck. I play this in a lot of, uh, whether it's pure Kashira, whether it's on the Kashira variants, still a very important card. So I'm very excited to be adding this to the collection along with the other QCRs that we pulled today. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more UU content just like this one. As I said earlier, this background over here is gonna be a brand new studio very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I wanna give a big shout out again to Game 3 for providing us with this box. It was very exciting to open a very fun set to open no matter what you pull there's always some really cool cards some cool rarities and some cool reprints so i appreciate every single one of you thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace